So we are going to be on the market right now and we're going to be analyzing Nasdaq, USD 30, DEX 30 and of course we're going to be taking it from three aspects guys. The first aspect one is structure showing us so what is is there support resistance then the next thing we understand that we want to trade with the structure from then on we can get a directive on where the market is. Okay, hey family, we are on Nasdaq on the daily time frame. As you know, guys, this is how we predict the markets. So you can see, I've taken the structure already. We are looking at the point of resistance. Hence, the market has verified itself two times right there. And of course, we're looking at the point of support or potential support for the market to be supported. But of course, the structure will tell us everything. One thing that I did list, guys, on the previous um, analysis that we're talking about to say the range of the candlesticks and the momentum says a lot about where it's going and i used that like an example of a car driving to say when you're about to slow down definitely you will show that you're about to slow down at the stop and that's the exact thing that the market does in this case we can see that it's not showing any signs of slowing down unless as it as it goes down all the way to the support we can get rejection candlesticks okay um, then we can definitely see that the market but if it does another full candle over here definitely know that this is going to be broken most likely it will but we want to get more information as we want to teach you not just analyze um, so we are going to be going to the four hour information to get a little bit more uh, rather time frame to get a little bit more information on the markets as we can see structure has been obeyed since last week we can definitely see the market dropped and tanked all the way um, uh, there to that oh, well it's heading to the support and we can see the strong momentum that's there already so of course the obvious direction that we can get from this momentum is that the market is going to be heading all the way here but then what will happen now right at the support is the instructions or what i'm going to actually be showing you right now so at least if the market can give us a little bit of strong candles i'm going to get something here just to help us a bit um predict this market so i'm going to guess i'm going to get a ghost feed so if we can just get the market closing with a strong bearish momentum well it doesn't do me a favor even if it goes up or, or down what matters is that we can actually get that direction right and of course with this price action rules we're able to get those uh directives right so if we can get it you know closing a bit below right here and then of course we can actually um see it coming back to retest and will be pushing all the way down. What sometimes the market only uh, may eventually do is to trick a lot of um, sellers to say we are selling. And of course, many people would either put their sell stop just uh, below, um, you know, right here at these levels. And what the market will essentially do, it will just to push all the way down. And of course, once it pushes all the way down, you must know something guys whenever the market looks too obvious just know that it's about to trap a lot of sellers or rather a lot of buyers in that market so if it looks too obvious there's gonna be something that's uh, really gonna happen that's you know uh i've been just learning that and of course if we can just get that coming of course if it can get to pull back and retrace then then that's when we enter so a lot of people will enter as it's breaking out and what happens is the market kicks out their stop losses or it's a false breakout so be sure for that as i say if we don't actually get that retest that we that we want we're not actually entering the trade so you want the market to just get to you know get get us that clear retest because it can actually just do this and go all the way up so you want of course so from here to probably all the way to this prices right here it's gonna push all the way down but now what happens is that you must respect the price action rules to say if we can get a pullback make sure that this pullback breaks in again to retest what was once upon a support structure now it must be a resistance or rather what was upon yeah basically that so if it was support we need to break it for us now 
in order to show that this will be support. If it's going lower, this needs to equal from support to resistance. I hope you understand me because I, I stumbled a little bit right there, but I believe it's quite clear enough to say if we can have this level right here, okay, let me just touch it again. And of course, we want to establish that if we can get it, move all the way down there, possible moves that it may do is it may come back to retest 10 into the level from support to resistance or rather what we go or what it will do is do a false breakout. So that means it'll, it will either break out, come back in, let me just get a different color on that. And then now it actually starts going up all the way because it was tricking a lot of traders when it came to that. I hope you understand guys. And of course you wanna respect those price action rules as you're trading in the markets. Okay, so we are gonna be going to that statue right now. And I believe we may we may actually see similar structure when it comes to everything that is happening here. We can take, of course, the point of resistance. We can take, of course, the point of support, as you can see here. And it's quite clear. There's a, a level that I wanna, uh, you know, that I wanna just pinpoint to you when it comes to price action. You know, we can definitely see on the daily time frame the. It has been a strong key level right here. So of course we can see as well within the range of the candlesticks, momentum is still pushing down, structure is still bearish, but now what will be happening in this week? Okay, that will be going into the four hour time frame, and you can clearly see the momentum that the markets has been pushing. If you did watch our fundamental analysis video about Nasdaq, you will also understand about DEX, but I will get to cover DEX as well. I will do its own series as well. So, but you must know that fundamentals, when they release their earnings or EPS, and of course it will show the direction of the market, especially on NASDAQ, that's why it's selling. So we are able to get the context of price, not just knowing very well that by this, it's just getting the background, but we are able to get the why behind the price. Anyway, you must go watch that video to understand what I'm talking about, but we can clearly see right here that the market is actually just going all the way. It's quite clear that it's gonna be going here. Of course, when it gets here, I would say the very same thing. If we can get it coming back to these key levels, and then of course it may still continue so according to what i'm seeing here we may see a continuation of the bearish structure reason being is we still have this key level okay we may have this key level if it's strong enough the market will eventually just break in and start buying but of course i'm i'm, I'm able gonna know the direction of the markets only until july when i see the eps then i know for sure for the next three months where indexes will be heading into i will definitely share that when i figure out the direction on this youtube channel and of course tomorrow we are starting with the master class everybody that joined in we are starting and we're going to be teaching them the skill family but also you who are watching you are getting the free skill um on our youtube channel right now of course let's go into usd data we can and i did see some beautiful setups on usd data as well the very same thing that we are seeing on nasdaq that's what we can actually clearly see on usd data i mean on usd data yes okay so i want to just take that unverified the reason why i say it's unverified support because there's no point of reference if we go all the way back so there's a lot of room to the left therefore making this an unverified point of support even though it pushed the market up but the structure still bearish until we, it gets to prove us wrong over here and of course the very same thing guys the market must show you if it's slowing down and eventually does those are the signs that it's going to turn around if not when it gets to this point it definitely will still rally all the way down especially if it has the uh, candlestick the full candlesticks what that we're seeing in my mentorship course we call them momentum candles so if you st still see bearish momentum candles we we can definitely expect the market to still continue selling if that but of course if we can see a slowdown that means that the bodies start you know 
reducing the range, then we can really anticipate to, to start eventually buying. And of course, that will be an obvious double bottom. As I said, whenever the market seems too obvious, it's about to make a lot of people lose a lot of money. And of course, it's kind of really, really clear. I mean, the structure in this case, we are in a bearish market. And looking at it based off experience and what I can tell you right now, don't take my word for it, but you will see in the markets that if it continues with the same bullish momentum, uh, I mean, bearish momentum candles, this will break. This will break. But I have a feeling that when it breaks, it's going to trap sellers. And of course, it's going to start shooting all the way up. Probably this will be your take profits. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, you're going to see this happening in the markets right away. But you can, of course, bank all the way from this move all the way to the take profits. Uh, and of course, you can just simply take a Fibonacci uh, just to make sure that you can calculate that profit for yourself. But of course, you must you must anticipate the market to trap in sellers because I mean they are going to be putting their sell stops right here, or some of them immediately when the candle closes that's uh, strongly bo uh, bearish. They're just going to go in and sell the market as hard as they can. Okay, but you and I are wise. We want to move with the market. As soon as we see it pulling back, we're not just going to go here and just start selling. We want it, of course, to start showing us signs that is it going to actually, you know, get to um, do this. Okay, let me let me just do it. Is it going to come back to and get to be you know, just resist it at that point and get to sell or is it just going to go all the way up? So that's what you must look for in the markets. And I hope, of course, you did take a lot of education from this video. Make sure that you get to subscribe, like, and also share this video with your friends and family. Signing out.